Okay, um, I was able to get that undone. And there's the signature Tangle with Catfish. Oh, there's the Monster Rod. It's like a special edition little case they have here. Wow. Very awesome. Very cool. Very custom. Tangle with Catfish product, seven foot six inches, action, medium heavy, monster rod. Let's take a look at this, see what this looks like. Not sure you can see how awesome this thing is made. There's so many eyelets on this thing. Just holding it, you can tell how well it's made. Here you got your Monster Rods logo. All of so you're tingling with catfish logo. This right here is amazing. Just the strength that that's going to bring to any large bite. And you got the double double nut here to keep it from slipping. That handle, that ha I love that handle. Hey guys, Matt with Catfish KC here today. And I am gonna be doing a small, just personal review of Tingling with Catfish, their Monster Rod, Steve Douglas edition. Um, about a year and a half ago, I decided to, of course, after watching all of Steve Douglas's uh, successful catches and YouTube videos with these poles and rods, I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and purchased one of them, first off, to try it out. Now, looking back, I wish I would have got all three at once because the shipping was $25. Um, but I did go ahead and, and buy one, tried it out for about three months, went ahead and bought two more because I liked them so much. So uh, I have three of them. Um, they're made out of an e-glass composite, uh, stainless steel eyelets. There's eight of those. It's a seven foot, six inch pole. I'm just kind of uh, reading off the website basically for you guys. This is what it, what, what it is. Uh, it's got the aluminum reel seat, um, with the double locking, uh, nuts with the rubber washer in between those that's actually for me. It's a big deal. Um, I really I really appreciate having that That aluminum real seat right there because I've had so many experiences with plastic ones where the more you try and tighten them the more you see the plastic start to bend and Is that gonna lose you a fish probably not but there's just something with with this that makes me feel so much better um, and another thing is is that I've seen so many rods for ten twenty dollars less than this one that has plastic reel seats so for me it's like why not just go with the aluminum um, the rubber the rubber handle that's great I love it it does get torn up a little bit coming in and out of out of the reel of uh, uh, the rod holder as you see that but a little bit of that is also me as well. So I'm a little bit rough because I still go bank fishing and fishing from the boat. So getting to some of our, of our locations, some of our spots, getting to some of our spots isn't the easiest sometimes. So um, it does have a thicker butt on the end here. It kind of gets a little wider. So when you are, when it's in a pole holder and you have a fish, when you have a fish in the pole holder and it is pulling down on this, this does create, it, make, it makes it hard to get it out of the pole holder. But I will say that you'll never lose one of these poles because of that. So that's one, one uh, complaint I have read about these. But the thing, same thing is, is that it's not that big of an inconvenience because you just got to pull it out a little bit harder. It's not a big deal. So um, that's really... I mean, it is a uh, yep, heavy, uh, medium heavy action, and of course comes with it comes in the red, black, and neon green colors. So these were eighty nine ninety nine a piece, uh, twenty five dollars uh, shipping. If you're smart, you're going to get multiples. Just get them all at once, so that you just pay one twenty five dollar shipping cost, and then. 
Um, they'll send them all at once for that $25. They'll send up to six rods for the $25 shipping fee. See, I've caught a up to 50 pound flathead on these rods um, and that's it so far. I hope to get a bigger fish than that, but I thought it, it was time to, to give a review after about a year and a half, uh, just based on how many fish I have caught. But no, there, you do have you do have a little bit of play in the rod, so it's not it's not like you, you're just hauling them in. There is still some a fun fight. I will say that any type of fishing situation, whether you're looking to, to catch channels um, or the target the larger fish, these poles are awesome. Uh, bank fishing, you can still get a good throw out there. I think I think they work better from a boat, uh, just because sometimes you don't have to cast as far. But from a bank, I can still launch it pretty pretty far as well. With when I placed my order with Tangling with Catfish, I had a small question, and I got a personal email from Jerry Klein the second, um, who's on their team. I've seen him, I think, believe it on YouTube as well before, and. Uh, answered me immediately within the same day um, gave me tracking information all that type of stuff it, it was there within a few days it was great let's talk about reels uh, i know that i'm doing the review on the monster rod by tangling with catfish but one of the main reasons i was actually exposed to this rod was obviously steve douglas's channel and all the massive blue catfish flathead catfish that he was catching with it um, it was hard to not notice that he was using a certain type of reel the, he was using the bass pro bait cast reel uh, i think it was about 59 dollars at the time uh 69 or 59 dollars at the time so when i got these three poles i went ahead and got three cat max reels uh same as steve douglas I want, I'm not going to say I wanted to copycat him, but I wanted to replicate the kind of fish he was catching. And if those reels, if those reels were able to handle those fish, I wanted to get the same reel. I wanted to get the same setup so that I was like good to go. Um, doesn't mean that you're going to catch bigger fish just with better gear, but it puts you in a better situation. So I went ahead and I bought the Bass Pro Cat Max Baitcast reels. Now this is right before corona this is right after coronavirus hit so i got the last three and they didn't have any in stock for probably about a year um my experience with the three that i got was within the first month they had started to kind of falling apart now i'm not sure if and i've stopped i've talked to steve about this at the conference and I believe, and he believes that we, I got a bad batch possibly of those reels because he's never had the same issues that I did have. My reels started to fall apart um, in different areas. I even, I took them back into Bass Pro, had them look at them and they, they wanted to exchange them but they didn't have anything to exchange them for. So they, they told me that they would refund me the money and put it towards other reels. And I went ahead and I bought a lose. I bought one lose reel. And then I bought two Abu Garcia 6600 C4 reels. So um, the Luz reel that I put on there, um, the bait clicker, I, I've heard good things about Luz, but compared to the price, I think it was about $89, $89.99. It was a good reel, real smooth. Um, I had real wide, you know, grips on it. Um, but the, the clicker seemed to, I couldn't even hear the clicker after the first week. Uh, so that was one of the main reasons why I do like these reels. And so I went ahead and returned that lose because the plastic clicker inside the reel had uh, dislodged itself and I, it completely stopped making noise. So I went ahead and got all three poles with Abu Garcia's. Now this one's got the uh, 6500 C3 on it still says made in Sweden. So it still says made in Sweden. And the other two I have, the other two I have with the 6600 C4s. Now these ones, the push button is right here and the C3, it's up here. Uh, this one's pl it's plastic, the other one's metal. These ones were a little bit more expensive. 
I'd say if you're gonna buy one of these, these 6600 C4s are, are really great, but the 6500 C3 um, was a little bit cheaper, and I think it does just as well. So that is my review. I didn't mean to go into, I didn't mean to go into too much depth. Uh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to talk too much about the actual real situation, but since it was um, an issue for me uh, with those Bass Pro ones, uh, I'm not counting them out. I believe Steve when he says that they work just fine. But for me, I went ahead and just got something that I know um, it's got a history that I can rely on. And if I take care of them, it'll last me years. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoy the review. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer anything that you guys have for me. We got a fish. We got a fish here. We're broken. It's tragic. Okay. We're not all elastic. But maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness. The anxious and panic. The infinite vastness of all that. Yep.